We have another big event going on on the ATP next week, an ATP 500 event. The Queen's Club event It's a massive event. It's a very historic event. They've played over 120, almost 120 times there over the past. A lot of history. A lot of players not playing, though, because they can't either, either, either they can't get into England or they have withdrawn with injury. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So the withdrawal list, Carlos Alcaraz, he's pulled out with an elbow problem. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. And Monfils has also pulled out. So not the big list of players that have withdrawn because most of them have gone to hell to play but still some big names not playing in that one all right so here is the top of the draw there's eight seeds in this one top eight all eight seeds get to play the first round no buys in the first round in this one uh casper rude is the number one seed interested to see how he plays on grass after the french open he takes on the wild card peniston in the first round then we've got Serendolo versus Martinez. The winner of that will play either Root or Peniston in the second round. So a lot of clay quarters in there and a British player. So that's an interesting part of the draw. Then you've got Brooksby versus Kranovic. winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Schwartzman, the number five seed in the second round. Full of clay quarters, that top section. Uh, then you've got Fritz, the number four seed, taking on Draper. That's a fun match. winner of that match takes on a qualifier because we've got two qualies going at it. Uh, then we've got Musetti versus Bublik. Winner of that match takes on either Brody or the number seven seed, Chilich. And I think Chilich is a man to watch out for, especially in this draw, because he's won this tournament before. And he's also got a very good draw. He's just stuck with all the clay quarters. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got Riley Opelka, the number eight seed, taking on Diminor. I love that match. Every time they play, it's such a clash of styles. They've played a few times as well. Interested to see how that one plays out. Winner of that match takes on either Ramos Vinoles or Fakina in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Van der Zanschulp. Winner of that match takes on either Dimitrov or the number three seed, Nori, in the second round. Interested to see how Nori plays during the grass court season as well, and also playing Dimitrov first round. It's a lot of fun. Then we've got the number six seed, Shapovalov, taking on Tommy Paul. That's a tough match for Shapo. Winner of that takes on either Tiofo or Vavrinka in the second round. Then we've got Murray back again after making the final here this week. Maybe he wins this tournament. Maybe by the time this comes out, he would have won. Uh, he plays Sonego in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Evans or the number two seed Berrettini. So we could be getting Murray versus Berrettini 2 back-to-back in the second week of the second grass court event. So we could be getting back-to-back Berrettini-Murray matches. Uh, and that could be fun. We'll see what happens and how that looks. But um, look, I, I'm, I mean, there's a lot of players that could win this tournament. Berrettini obviously is in form. We know that uh, Chapo's good on grass when he gets going. Opelka could win. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. What do you reckon? Who's going to take this event? Like I said, I think down the bottom half is where the winner will come from. I just can't see anyone up the top. There's a lot of clay quarters up the top, uh, in, especially right up the top. Casper Ruud, all those guys. I'm not sure how they're going to go on the grass. Down the bottom, they've got the grass court guys. You've got Opelka. You've got Chapo, Berrettini, Murray. I feel like down the bottom is going to be the uh, where the where the grass court, where the winner of this tournament is going to be. But let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat who is going to win at Queen's Club next week.